What is up, Libra? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston. So this is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. If the story doesn't fit, guys, don't make it fit. But do know to try and watch to the end because I've been getting very mixed messages. I've been getting relationships. I've been getting work. I've been getting family. I've been getting personal. So um, messages are coming in all over the place. So if it doesn't fit your story, stick around. You may hear a message that's specifically for you. Um, I've made the reading significantly shorter so that way people can take the time to listen without being here like, is she done yet? Um, I apologize that the Libra video went up and had no sound. We went ahead and took care of that. So hopefully this works out. Um, for cross watchers, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Queen Tarot Bee. You are very, very welcome here to like, share, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, that's the way the channel gets out is by word of mouth. So I'd like to get um, more people that really want to work on themselves on this channel. And we have a great community. So feel free to like, share, subscribe, and also know that the energy comes in vice versa. So it can be what Libra is doing to you or how they feel or what you're doing to Libra and how you feel. If it's vice versa, leave it in the comments below. I do read my comments. If I heart it, I've read it. I can't answer them all. But if it's coming in vice versa, it would be good for me to know. That way I know what kind of energy is coming in for that week and month. This is for the week of January 14th through the 21st, 2020. And this is the remake of last night. And it came up exactly the same. Um, the way I'm uh, meditating on it. It feels like there's someone in your life that you're watching. You're disappointed. You had an opportunity with and it didn't work out the way that you planned. Um, it didn't work out at all, actually. And it looks like this person has now moved on, is happy, may have a family, a baby, a husband. They've moved on. Okay. There's someone in your life there that, um, you're using as a crutch, but they've moved on and they've tried to explain it to you. And it seems like, um, it's very difficult for you to accept. Um, I feel like you see a happy home with this person, even though they're taken and you need to watch your boundaries there. Okay. Because I feel like this person is putting up strict firm boundaries with you to let you know that that's now in the past. And if you would like to remain friends, that's fine. But anything past that is really pushing it. I feel like this person's put up some strong boundaries. Um, and it may not have worked out the way you wanted it to. Like this person could have led you on, um, made you think that there was going to be something between you. Um, and then in the end, they chose to move on. Um, but I do feel like this person had a significant change, made significant changes in your life. Bleh, I can't talk. I feel like they've made significant changes in your life. A lot of things turned around for you. A lot of positivity came from it. Um, but you have to understand that even though this person made significant changes in your life, they are now moved on. And it's time for you to do the same thing and find yourself an honest love or, or somebody um, that's more suited for your personality. Um continuing to be a crutch for this person or use this person as a crutch is a really unhealthy thing. Okay. Um, if this person is using you as a crutch, then they really need to rethink their situation. Um, if you're using them as a crutch, you really need to understand that you're the third wheel. Okay. Um, I also feel like when you found out that they moved on, there was a significant amount of unhappiness here you thought for some strange reason this person would wait for you for whatever it is. I don't know if you're getting out of jail or the system or whatever it is, um, but you were sorely disappointed when you found out that this person moved on from you. It was a big tower moment for you. Um, let's see here. Let's see what the cards have to say, guys. But I do feel like a lot of good came from this. They opened up windows and doors that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, this person feels very intelligent, smart. Um,
I feel like they opened a financial doorway for you. Even though you're devastated, they opened up so many doorways for you. And from what I'm seeing here, this person doesn't love you like that. They love you as a friend. Um, and they want you to see that and to accept it. And if you're not willing to accept it, they're willing to cut you out, it looks like. Okay? Yes. Um, it looks like there was a lot of untruth that you told this person when you guys were talking or together or whatever it is that you guys did. Um, there was a lot of untruths that you told this person. And as this person went through and spent more time with you, they started to see the lies unraveling and unfolding. Um, so you kind of devastated yourself. And now that you're communicating, you're getting the response that you should. Unfortunately, this person has moved on. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you're wanting this person back with this Ten of um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, you're wanting this family feeling. You're wanting this whole shebang. I don't know if this is somebody you wanted to marry or whatever this person is to you. Um, you're wanting this person back, but there's somebody there standing in your way. And rightfully so, this person is not your person. This person belongs to somebody else. And so the more you dig at that, the more they're going to cut you off. They've moved on and it's time for you to move on as well. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, you know, you're still blinded. You're still seeing this 10 of cups with them, Libra, and you've really got to get a grip on the fact that this isn't going to happen, okay? And there's going to be a fight if you continue to push. If you continue to pry into their business or um, continue to tell them your feelings or whatever it is you're doing, it's making them uncomfortable. And here you see the moon. So, you know, those lies came out and it changed this person's perspective of you. And so this person chose to move on. So this is clearly not your person, okay? This person has moved on. They thought about it and they have moved on to an abundant situation where they're happy. And they're not your person. There's that four of wands in reverse. They're not your person, okay, Libra? Yes, they opened up opportunities for you. Absolutely. They opened up an opportunity, a major opportunity in your life for a brand new financial start, a brand new home, a brand new something, and a brand new start here in the 3D world. But you can't help but feel this devastation that that start isn't with them. But you've known that. You've known that this person has moved on and you need to accept it. Because even though you're unhappy, in a way you caused this when, with all the lies. Once all the lies unraveled, it's like this person just didn't want anything to do with it. And you've got to use that strength that the universe is giving you right now and pull through and start making the right decisions. You have a brand new start right in front of you. The Ace of Swords in reverse, the lies coming out. You lost that person at the first lie. Um, and this is a cycle for you, okay? So you really need to make a decision here to move on. This person is now in your past, okay? The Six of Pentacles, this Six of Pentacles, that's equal reciprocation. Don't know why, but I think that you need to make the decision to find somebody who will equally reciprocate because this is the Six of Cups talking about this person moving into your past and being a memory. Okay, Libra, that is what I have for you for the month of, or the month of, I keep saying that, for the week of January 14th through the 21st. If you guys need a more personalized reading, please see the information in the box below and email, email me for a list of services. This is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tower B in Boston, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.